cost of public cloud providers were way too high or way above their expected price points or cost point that many of the enterprises expected to pay. And so in many cases, they found better, more optimized platforms with some on-prem hardware, private clouds, moving to managed service providers, you know, other public cloud providers like sovereign clouds, things like that. And they went ahead and made the case to move those applications from a private cloud provider like AWS, Microsoft, and Google back into systems that are, you know, smaller niche, you know, public cloud provider players or your own hardware, which is typically going to be way more, way more cheaper, if that's a word, than leveraging the same hardware platforms that are in a virtual space on the cloud platform. So contrary to pop popular narratives, cloud or bust, everybody was going to, you know, consolidate on a single cloud provider. Um, this was something I saw coming a while ago. So moving key workloads back to the on-prem system when the cost control became an issue, in other words, they're just paying too much to run on the public cloud providers was really the only option for many of the enterprises out there. Enterprises, by the way, do not want to move from their public cloud platforms back to their on-prem systems because that's going to be a big pain in the neck to do. And also you're admitting you got it wrong. You're admitting that the migration you made 10, 15 years ago was, uh, was wrong thinking. Uh, and you didn't understand the cost of those platforms at the time. And now the cost of hardware, things you buy and put in a data center are way less it's going to provide you with the monetary advantage in making that happen. And so that's why we're seeing so many repatriation projects going on today. And according to the surveys, huge amounts are going on. We don't know about them because people aren't talking about it, but it's still a hot issue today.